So recently, we partnered with Chart Prime to create a set of trading indicators that we think are going to be among the most accurate indicators that you can find on TradingView. The main feature of our indicator suite is the Pine Trades Market Beacon which includes these super profitable buy and sell signals. As you can see, even by itself, this indicator can be pretty decent. Whenever it says long, you go long. Whenever it says short, well, you go short. But on top of this, we wanted to create indicators that we think are going to combine the most essential aspects of trading in order to maximize profitability. After weeks and weeks of back and forth between the Pine Trades team and the Chart Prime team, well, the Pine Trades custom indicator is now ready for launch. And in this video, we're going to go over exactly how you can use it to trade. Let's get into it. Now, this is the 5 minute time frame of GBPUSD. I'm only going to be using this time frame and this specific trading security for showcasing our indicators. But you're not going to be limited to this because these indicators can actually work on any trading security and on any time frame. Now, looking at our chart, you can see two indicators, the PT Market Beacon and the PT Oscillator. In this context, PT stands for Pine Trades. To add this indicators to your chart, you're going to click on this link down in the video description because it's a private indicator. Now, one thing to note about our indicators is that once you activate your subscription, you're going to get access not only to these two indicators, but to all the other chart prime indicators as well, including the market oracle for trend analysis, the market dynamics for market structure, the momentum focused prime oscillator, etc. Once you have access, you're going to find those indicators in the invite only section of the indicators tab. Click on any of them to add them to your chart. Now, by default, the PT market beacon is going to show these long and short signals. And as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job because it goes the extra mile and labels the stop losses as well as the profit targets for you. But these signals aren't everything that this indicator has to offer. Oh no. In order to see all the features of this indicator, we're going to go into the settings and here they are. We can enable the trend candles, which is basically going to color your candles depending on the trend of the market. Long signals like this indicate the beginning of short term bullish trends. And as you can see, the candles are going to be colored teal to reflect the bullish trend. And then short signals like this indicate the beginning of short term bearish trends. And again, the candles are going to be colored red to reflect that trend. And then here you can also choose your own custom colors. For example, your own shade of green and red. And then we have the show ribbon option, which is basically going to show a trend ribbon that you can use to easily visualize the trend of the market. The trend magnet is similar to the trend ribbon, but it's just going to be a single line that changes color between yellow for bullish trends and purple for bearish trends. And then down here we have the market structures and the smart money concept liquidity. Market structure labels basically include change of characters, also known as chalk. We have the break of structures, BOS, as well as indications for double tops and double bottoms. And then we have SMC liquidity, which is basically going to print buy side and sell side liquidity on your chart. Now, as you can see, we have red levels indicating liquidity hunts, and these are going to be used to take short positions whenever they are retested by the price. And then here we have light blue levels indicating liquidity grabs. And again, these are going to be used to take long positions whenever the price does a retest of these levels. Simple. Now that we've seen what the PT market beacon is made of, let's go over the PT oscillator. This is a super powerful momentum indicator that can be used to track bullish and bearish momentum in the market, as well as to indicate bullish and bearish divergences in the price. Now, looking at the settings on the inputs tab, you can see that we can change the speed. If you want to capture longer term price fluctuations, you can select the leisure option for the speed. And as you can see, the indicator becomes less responsive to price changes. If you want to capture shorter term price fluctuations, you can select the rapid option. This is going to make the indicator more responsive to price changes. And of course, the moderate option is going to be a balance between the two. For this video, I'm going to stick with moderate. Now, the method basically means the price data source that this indicator is going to use to calculate this momentum histogram. For this video, we don't want to use the price action method, which basically means the different prices of these candles. Instead, we want to use the volume matrix. This is going to allow this indicator to function properly as a momentum indicator. If we enable the show divergence option, you can see that these are the divergence labels. On the style tab, 
you can see that we have regular bullish divergences as well as regular bearish divergences, which are the most important types of divergences. We can also change the colors as well as the display style for all these options. Once we're done, click OK. Now, this indicator is composed of a momentum histogram that changes color between red and teal for bearish and bullish momentum respectively. And then we have the momentum oscillator, which is this, and it changes color between dark purple and light purple to indicate bullish and bearish momentum respectively. Next, we're going to go over how we can use these two indicators to trade. But before we do that, let's talk about the Forex broker called Henko Trade. Now, I've been using HenkoTrade for quite some time. As you can see here, this is my live account on HenkoTrade's web trader platform. The reason why I think HenkoTrade is a great broker is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is actually the lowest spreads can go. For those of us who love high leverage, well, HenkoTrade offers a maximum leverage of 1 to 500. And if all of this isn't enough, they're also going to give you a 100% deposit bonus for all your first deposits of between $100 all the way to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $3,484.50, well, they're going to give you a bonus of $3,484.50, giving you a total of $6,969 to trade with. To access the bonus as well as all the other perks, well, sign up to Henko Trade using the link in the video description. Now, back to the video. To take a long trade with our strategy, these are the conditions. First, you want to identify an area where the price shows a prolonged period of bearish momentum. You know, like here. This red momentum histogram covered several candles. You don't want it to cover 5 or 10 candles, but it should be at least 75 candles or 75 bars. This is what we're looking for. And then, towards the end of that bearish momentum, you want to see a change of character label, also known as chalk, followed by a BOS label. Once we have the two structure labels, we also want to ensure that the price breaks and closes above that BOS level. So this is the breakout candle. Next, we want to ensure that the market is in a bullish momentum during this breakout before we take our position. For that, you just want to have several teal histogram bars down here to confirm the bullish momentum. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we take a long position. The stop loss can go under the most recent swing low, for the take profit, we could target two times the risk. And this was a profitable trade. And of course, we're going to do the opposite of this for a short position. Let me show you. So we identify an area where the price is in a prolonged period of bullish momentum. To confirm that, you just want this teal momentum histogram to span across several candles, 75 candles being the minimum number. After that, towards the end of this bullish momentum, you want to have a change of character label, also known as chalk, followed by a BOS label. After that, we locate the candle that did the break of structure, which is this candle right here, and we want it to have sufficient bearish momentum to push the price in the direction of our trade. To confirm that, we just want to have several red histogram bars down here. This indicates that the market is in a bearish momentum at the time of this breakout. So we enter a short position. Now, the second method that we can use this indicator to trade is to use it to trade bounces off of liquidity areas. So, for a long position, you would want the price to retest the lowest level of liquidity grab. So, for this example, it's going to be this one right here. We want it to come and touch this level. So now the price is inside the level. And then to confirm that the price may go back up, we need a candle to close outside of this level. This is what we're looking for. And this is going to be our entry candle. And then lastly, we need the momentum histogram of the PT oscillator to be colored teal. This indicates that all of this is happening in an area where the market is driven by bullish momentum. We enter a long trade here. For our stop loss, we could set it right under the most recent swing low. And then we're going to target the upper liquidity hunt, basically these red levels for our take profit. And as you can see, this was a profitable trade. And of course, you can do the opposite for a short position. Now, these two strategies aren't the only ways that you can trade with these two indicators. You can even add some price action concepts on top of these strategies, or you can trade based off of divergences by identifying a bullish divergence, 
followed by a long signal, which should also be in an area of bullish momentum, like this. With these conditions met, you could take long positions and vice versa for short positions. So if you're interested in checking out these two indicators as well as all the other indicators by Chart Prime, click on the link in the video description to get 30% off or to try it for free for 7 days. If you have any questions or changes you need made to these indicators, well, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.